viral pneumonia has hit central China's Wuhan city. Authorities have reported 27 cases in total. It's a new type of coronavirus. A mystery virus they'd hoped to contain, but one we now know can jump from human to human. It's one person coming in from China and we have it under control. It's uh, going to be just fine. It seemed like this was an issue contained to China. The city at the center of the outbreak in China and two others going on lockdown. The risk is low in the United States. The risk is low. So at least 565 people are dead and more than 28,000 infected with coronavirus around the world. That's if the Chinese are telling the truth. Should we have been more aggressive with China and put their feet to the fire? I mean, obviously, history has told us that the president was not interested in doing that. I had a great conversation last night with President Xi. I really believe they are going to have it under control fairly soon. You know, in April, supposedly, it dies with the hotter weather. The Centers for Disease Control says the coronavirus is going to spread in the United States, but the White House today said that it's contained. Our country couldn't accept or would not accept the implications of what we were finding. One person with coronavirus in King County, Washington state has died. Nine Americans now have died. 11 people have died from coronavirus. Tonight, the first containment zone here in America within a one mile radius in the New York suburb of New Rochelle. And then suddenly here it was in our own community. Here's what's making headlines on this March 11th. Good morning on this Wednesday, March 11th. Wednesday, March 11th. Hope you guys are exhaling, taking a minute for yourselves mm -hmm. um, in the midst of all the chaos and confusion. I just looked at my notes from that day and, and it was a most unusual day. I was testifying before the House Energy and Commerce Oversight and Reform hearing. And during that hearing, I said, we will see more cases and things will get worse than they are right now. How much worse we'll get will depend on our ability to do two things, to contain the influx of in people who are infected coming from the outside and the ability to contain and mitigate within our own country. Bottom line, it's going to get worse. I had to say it because it was the truth. On March 11th, it became real for the entire country. That's just when so many people just said, it's time to take this very seriously. Yo, this is more serious than I thought it was. March 11th, we we knew uh, that the WHO, we're gonna call it a pandemic. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The vice president was initially gonna do the press conference, but then we were told that the president would be doing the address and it just kept getting pushed and it eventually turns into an oval address that night. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. That headline struck me as just a stunning move. He's now taking it seriously. He's hit this inflection point. You go home and you start reading and you read the newspaper and you see the TV and you're like, oh my God, this is really happening. We are hearing that they're going to make an announcement soon that this game is not being played. I had so little time to make that decision. I didn't have time to convene a board meeting or call experts for advice. There were 19,000 people sitting in an arena waiting to find out whether this game was going to happen. The, the game playoffs. tonight has been postponed. You are all safe. And take your time in leaving the arena tonight. The word that just came out just moments ago is the NBA is going to temporarily suspend the season from now. There's a shot that stands out in my head of Mark Cuban, who was sitting courtside one of the games, and clearly he gets a text message. You can see right here the reaction from Mark Cuban. This is crazy. This can't be true. I mean, it's not within the realm of possibilities. It's just to it seem more like out of a movie than reality. This will put a human face on it, OK? Tom Hanks just tweeted. He and his wife, Rita, are in Australia. The actor Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, are currently in a Gold Coast hospital and they have been diagnosed with coronavirus. Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. Tom Hanks, his wife, Rita Wilson, they have tested positive for coronavirus. By the way, they are in our prayers tonight. There was such a confluence of things in this country. You almost felt like you were starting to go down a hill in a, in a barrel. And um, that sense of shock may have been necessary to pull people into this new reality. All of a sudden, what seemed so far away in China or in Europe 
was incredibly clear that it was here. And even if you didn't believe it, then just looking around you, your world had changed forever. It is Thursday, March 12th. The coronavirus has now entered a devastating new phase. The U.S. death toll from the virus has surpassed 100 people. 20,000. More than 46,000. 150,000. 200,000. 400,000 people have now died from COVID-19. 500,071 dead. 